I'm Dr. Robert Pomahawk coming to you from Max South LA. And the question is, what exercise is a combination of hips and biceps? Now this is a great exercise if done properly. The reason being is you can kill two birds with one stone. I will be demonstrating how to do a proper bicep and how to do a proper hip exercise. So when you're doing a proper bicep, engage the stomach, find your pelvic neutral. How you do that is by sticking your butt out, sticking your butt in, and then in between that motion is your pelvic neutral. Second part is engaging the stomach, holding it tight, and then holding the glutes. Now to do the bicep properly, you have to bring your head back, keeping your neck, your shoulders, and your hands beside you. Arms facing forward, extend the wrist. So just by doing a proper bicep curl, a lot of components. Hands forward, extend the wrist, taking the pressure off the forearms, and all the contractions gonna be coming onto the biceps. And then do that motion for me, keeping the wrist in extension, and holding the contraction until you feel it, and coming back down. So just by doing a proper bicep curl, a lot of parts. Parallel neutral here, neutral here, neutral here, and neutral here. The second part is how to do the hip flexor exercise. Find your pelvic neutral, engage your glutes, engage your stomach, and bring your knee upwards. One, two, three, four, five, and drop it back down. Now the combination motion can be both biceps together, right leg first, left leg second. While we're doing this exercise, head back, pelvic neutral, engage the stomach and the glutes, and do the combination motion. One, two, three, four, five. Great job, Amanda. Now, don't do this exercise if you can't do the individual exercise properly, because then guess what? You have a higher chance of injuring yourself and you're wasting your time in the gym. So ideally, first learn to do the exercises individually properly, and then combine them. I'm Dr. Rob Pomahawk, coming to you from Max South LA. Stay healthy, everyone.